What's happening, everybody? I have uh, another little purchase here. Uh, I took a trip up to Bryan, Ohio to visit some friends. One of my friend's moms passed away, and they had the service for, uh, I think it was June 2nd. And after the first day, I started to get a little bit bored just sitting around visiting with people. So I started running around different gun shops and uh, found this one. And the, the story on this one was uh, I bought the 1903 A3 and I'm just sitting there bullshitting with the guys. I'd already paid for it and getting ready to walk out the door and I'm sitting on a stool bullshitting with them. And uh, I, I said something about, I said, hey, I'm looking for a uh, M1 carbine, either uh, national postal meter, rock all uh, union switch, Underwood, or I said, one of the lesser known manufacturers. I said, I can find a GM Saginaw or a, um, what's the other one, Inland. It's a GMC's division. Uh, I said, I can find them just about, just about anywhere, but I've been looking for uh, one of the lesser knowns. I'd have loved to have a raw cola, the jukebox maker, but this one's, this one is made by National Postal Meter. I told, as soon as I said M1 carbine, he goes, hold on a minute. And he goes back and he gets this out of the faucet safe. And uh, he said, it's, there's a National Postal Meter that the boss has been wanting to sell. So, you know. They called him, sent him a text message, and uh, it was like two hours later. I'm still sitting there bullshitting with him, and uh, the boss calls. He goes, uh, yeah, I'm 20 minutes away. I'm in Archibald. He said, I'll, I'll be there shortly. So I hung out, waited for him, and uh, we had it laying on the counter. He walks in, and I start talking to him, and he goes, I said, what do you think on it? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, you do 1100? I said, yep, I can do that. So this is an import uh, after World War II. They shipped them out to different countries like the Philippines, Korea, and all of our um, other nations that we were helping out. So it says Blue Sky, Arlington, Virginia. And the stamp isn't that heavy. And I do know that the, some of the ones that came in to Blue Sky were stamped so heavy that it uh, compressed the barrel to where it, it screwed the barrel, like compressed the barrel to where it, it affected the bullet travel. But this one is, I mean, you can you can feel them with your fingers, running your finger over it, but they're they're not real heavy. So, I'm gonna get this one loaded up. It is uh, 1944, and National Postal Meter never made a complete rifle of their own parts. Uh, it has an Underwood barrel, and I haven't ran the numbers on anything else uh, here, like the trigger groove, uh, the op rod, charging handle, uh, barrel band, barrel band says AI on it. And I can't remember exactly what that is. It's got the proof mark here and then underneath it's got the Rock Island Arsenal stamp on the butt. So I'm gonna load it up and see how it does. It does have a flip safety, so it's got one of the the later style safeties on it. You know, they had push button safeties and people were dropping the magazines out of them. So I'd like to thank Sportsman's Trading Post in Wintersville for the for the ammunition. It was a 50 round box. Is 30 bucks or 35 bucks. 
So these are 15 round mags. And these are arms core, 110 grain. So the, the bayonet is oh, I can't read the date on it. 1960. It's not original for World War II, but it makes it look nice. And I, I knew that. I, ch I checked it out and did research on the gun while I was waiting for the dude to show up. So, I'm going to throw some lead. This thing's fucking light compared to that other one. Try the double feed. It's cool for what it is. Piece of history. So, yeah, it's... And I, I love the, the history part of everything. All the World War One and World War Two guns uh, that the U.S. produced are are all interesting. I'm still looking for a grease gun, uh, Thompson, and uh, uh, Craig Jorgensen. So this is you know what I got so far. I got a night the. Uh, Chrome 1903, I got the 1903A3, uh, the M1A, the M1 Grand, the M1 Carbine, and yeah, my 1911 is, you know, I cheated on that one, it's a Norinco, so, you know, it's Chinese, but it's, it's never failed. So, I'm gonna get all this shit picked up and head to work. Thanks.